how does a uh, how does a uh, stre- um, depression come into the picture? Depression because they are not working, they don't have money, they want to eat, no money, they want to do this, no money, so they just feel depressed, caused by themselves. Now there's something I don't understand about this. Do these drugs come cheap? Some because and now we are talking about we are saying they are depressed because they don't have money. Okay. And they, they, they have money to indulge, okay. to acquire these drugs. So how come the people who are depressed because they don't have money okay. at the same time can afford to play around with drugs? Now, when they go in, some of these drugs are sold at 500, 1,000. Like the Mbulu million of the thing is sold at the rate of 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, depending on the quantity you want to buy. So some of them will, want, will go in, maybe somebody will dash them money, or maybe they go and do one funny work, and they get like 2,000 naira. So they just feel, if I take an Mbulu million 1,000, eat food, they are satisfied. The, uh, a dose of the Mbulu million a dose of, yes, can go for 1,000 naira? Yes. That's not, that's not a chicken feed. <laughs> a dose of it can go and um, when they cannot get such money they thereby start stealing and that's why we are trying to like curb it, to minimize it to see how we can eradicate it if not I, I don't know what, what might come up in the future if we don't stop it now And you are saying that uh, joblessness is the primary Yes. Cause of this joblessness. Yes. So if uh, if we are talking in terms of a solution, what would you say would be a solution to this? Okay. Um, the solution is this. As an NGO, we don't have any power to say stop selling this because we are not the authorities. Now the authorities can. They have the power to stop. Uh, are you saying the people who sell these things are known? Of course they are known. Of course they are known. They are known. They are, they are members of this community. We don't have the right to stop it. We don't have the right to say you must stop it. You must stop selling. So the authorities can use their powers to say, look, we want you to stop this. We want you to stop damaging our children. We don't want this and it will be stopped. It will. They have that power if they want to. If there, if there, if there, if there's a will. If, 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 there, they, if there's a will on the part of the leadership. Of course. To curb it. Yes. To think uh, they can curb it. Of course it. they can because they have the power. It is their duty to stop it. It is actually their duty because they are the authorities. That, 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 that's, that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, Mr. Chibuzo, yes. you are Sylvester Chibuzo, okay. and you are the the director of a project manager yes, for the Diamond Everest Initiative. What uh, has been your experience? What has been your experience? Uh, in the course of doing this work? Well, um, I must say that, uh, just like Idi has said already, um, the major cause of what we are facing, that is the drug um, abuse, mm-hmm. has been depression, like she, like she said. And I want to relate it to what is happening in the country today. I was discussing with some persons the other time about um, these bandits, um, killings and all, all the rest of them. I came to realize that most of these people, they don't do these things um, with their clear eyes. They inhale something, you know? So, my experience over um, the past, maybe a few years we've been into this, has been that our youths are going down by the day as a result of um, illicit drug abuse. So if you look around um, Uwe, Aguleri, 
Umo bani fa anamra is. Oh, let me generalize it. Um, Omo bala region. Yeah. You will see what is happening. That ma majority of our youths no longer think of anything positive as a result of this same um, canker. Most of them are now, like some of them are just going out of human being. You will see them, they will be like um, somebody that is suffering from one disease as a result of this um, drug abuse. It, yeah, in, fact, in fact, it has destroyed many. So I have seen a lot in the course of this um, project. Yes. So what uh, particular challenges have you encountered a lot in the of, course of the a lot of, a lot of challenges, a lot of challenges, but let me mention a few. One is that while trying to accost these people over this um, thing, like trying to explain to them this is that, but the fact that they have in fact, they have gotten a, they are well drained in it. All their thinking is now based on the drugs. They will not accept. Even while we were doing um, what is it called? Awareness, uh, creating an awareness as far regards this program. If, if you will find out, you see that most of the people that were there today were students, secondary school students. Yes, yes. Um, most of the persons that were invited they didn't see it as anything. They didn't come for the program. That, these are the challenges. They don't, they don't care. Even while you are advising them, come, look at the way, look at the road, look at where um, you go and get better. They don't want, they all, they are, all they are thinking is just focused on that same direction. Yeah, because uh, during the program, I noticed that there were just about two schools. Yes. Quite a lot of children. The hall was full. Exactly. Quite a lot of children. But there were basically two schools. Only um, Madonna Secondary School and Virgin Mary Convent. And I was just wondering why you invited only two schools. All the schools within Umweri were invited. All the schools within Umweri were invited. And only those two showed up. Showed up. And apart from the schools, you are saying that you also invited Other persons, people. individuals, yes. were within the age of 13 to 45. Within the youth um, bracket, and now we had just the school children the students, who came school yes, who came from school. That, that, that's because those that were supposed to be there, they don't value the program. They have been eaten up. Their mindset is now focused just based on one direction, which is drug. That is, they think that 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 is the alternative. They see drug as the alternative. Many of them wouldn't mind selling off the last thing they've got just to buy these drugs. In fact, um, I would say that it also promotes um, stealing. Because just like the idiot said, it is very, those drugs are very expensive. And while they don't have money to get um, those drugs, they go to the extent of stealing. Uh, there's one thing they normally do. This is an electric bulb. I noticed they use it to sniff the drugs. Electric bulb. Yes, all these um, uh, energy bulbs. Yes. That's why um, most of the store owners are within these areas. Yes. While going to bed at night, they just remove, the... remove their bulbs. You know. So these are just the challenges of these um, drugs within this area and beyond. Not even not. It's not um, related to this area alone. It is within this area and beyond. That is the problem we are having now. So uh, now your program was Umweri, say no to drugs. So you are in the program, you are concentrating on Umweri. Yes. But are you saying that the problem also affects the neighboring communities, Aguleri? It, uh, it, it, it affects that. Um, it was giving a, a, a figure of people taking um, these um, drugs at Ivita Umweri. But I will tell you, authoritatively that eighty percent of those persons are not from Umwe. In fact, this um 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 Mulu of a team was imported. You find out that both the both patronizing um, the sellers and the sellers themselves yes. they are not from Umwe. I'm not saying that people uh, that uh, the yeah. are not there. Yes. They are there. But 90, 80 to 90% of them 
Yes. And not from Umwe. Okay, they just come they over. They come. They come over from over to that place. from neighboring communities. From neighboring communities. But I see this as um, a security challenge in my in our community. Where? Why I say I see it as a security challenge is because um, I learned that I don't want to mention a particular community's name that they form a task force basically for this group of persons. Yeah. Thereby driving them away from their community. They now have to come down to Umwere, okay. where they have rest of mind. Yeah. If I am to suggest yes. to the listening public, it is better 